Welcome back everybody to another booster cracking video. We are going to lock this one down one more time with the brand new set of Force of Will. We got... The frick is the name called again? I don't know why I can never remember it. A new world emerges! Pay no mind to me and my silliness, I've been recording all day. But thank you for the support on the last New World Emerges video. It was so much fun and we just crushed crush that first box and if you guys haven't seen that one yet make sure to go check it out it was an awesome video with lots of surprises so i have a link to here and in the description go find that one and take a look but i just can't wait to get into the second box of this i've been i've been waiting since i opened up the first one basically i mean it's it was an incredible awesome video i loved it and it's so nice to get into some awesome new force of will sets with some collector incentive behind it which you know is going to be the secret rares now supposedly the secret rares are all coming in those god packs so because i got the god pack you're almost guaranteed a secret rare from what i'm understanding super Super awesome i love that idea too i don't mind it being so much in the like sporadic random packs but the idea of it being in the god pack just makes sense as well and oh my gosh what a god pack that is this is an incredible god pack to get j ruler j ruler secret rare and the basics base oh my gosh i love it so now this came in the same order as my other box so or I don't know how the ratio is. I don't know if they lessen the ratio or heighten the ratio for God Packs. Is it still one in six boxes for a God Pack? I don't know if that's the case, then I don't know if we have a good chance with this box, but it could have been from a different case, who knows? And if the ratios are up higher, maybe we'll get super, super lucky again and find another God Pack. But another thing we're going for is just the rest of the J Rulers because we haven't found Justice yet. He's definitely one I want to find and add to the collection. And seeing as we got so many J Rulers in the last box, uh, finishing out my little collection of J Rulers from this set should be pretty easy, I'm hoping. So let's waste no more time. Let's get into a new world emerges and see what we can get. One more thing though, I appreciate all you guys that come on the channel and support and watch the videos. If you can leave a like on the video, share it around the Force Will community, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the Force Will content. You can see back here on the wall of shenanigans that I have, I have a ton more of Force of Will sets and boxes that we could open up and go through. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, you're going to want to stick around for more. All right, let's get this box opened up here and let's see what we can find in this one. Come on, a new world emerges. I haven't placed an order for any more of these boxes yet, but I probably will soon, especially depending on if we get extremely lucky in this box, which would be amazing so really hoping for good things since we already got one secret we can go for another we got a promo card we should be able to see where this one's going for now wasting no time we got our packs and we will dump one to the side and get started on the first one let's see what we got in this one now has anybody leave a comment down below has anybody pulled a secret rare outside of a god pack i'm kind of curious to know if they come outside of god packs or not or if it's only in God Packs that you can get them. Starting out with a dope looking robot Magi Trooper prototype as a normal. Just a normal, but that is a sick card. Next up, let's... Oh, goodness. Oh, the glue is heavy in this one, huh? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. This pack is glued shut and sticking together, but we are getting through it. Let's see what we got. Rare Death Speaker Monk. Very cool. And then we've got our sprinting steward here. Just a nice little rare. I don't think it's valued too highly. All right, next up, we're showing away the back card here and I just skipped one. That's okay. We've kind of seen these all before. We've pretty much went through all of them, I think. But we got Justice Punch as our super rare dope looking card. And then we've got Bird of Solari as a normal full art. Let's keep grabbing these packs. And we've got our bird right on the top of this pack too, which is pretty funny actually. Let's keep going. We've got the Great Wall Normal. We got Wind Moon Fragment as our rare. And then we got an awesome looking Cecilia Fire Punisher of the Solaris Order. That is such a fire card, literally. And this artwork, man. I love the artist behind this guy. And this girl, I guess. He's, he's done a couple cards. He or she has done a couple cards in this set. And they are phenomenal. Next up, let's keep going. We already got a nice little banger for the collection there with that one. Solaris Knight or whatever. That is a sharp one. Ooh, but we got Sealed One-Eyed Dragon as our Marvel Rare. Awesome card. Great. It's actually quite expensive in the full art from what I'm seeing. And we pulled two of those full arts in the last box with a 
Daily Research Normal Full Arts. Just a simple one. Let's see it. What kind of J ruler will we find today? Look at this. We're getting the full art and then we're getting the just normal version right at the top of the next pack. That's crazy. That's the second time it's happened. We've got Bat of Solari, Super Rare Asteroid Cluster. And then we've got a Squirrel of Solari. Just a squirrel, nothing special. Let's keep going. We got some kind of shiny blue at the end there. Uh, I need the full art of you still. Haven't gotten that one yet. But we've got Knight of the Phantom Moon. We got Justice Recon. Oh, we're showing that end card. We got the little Wolf Warrior undefeated. And then we've got Confronting Eins. Oh, that's interesting. Never seen that card before. Just a normal one. God Pack, God Pack. Can we get a second God Pack? This would be pretty amazing if we got a second god pack from the same seller basically i got these from the same place so that'll be interesting we got a rare alpha's watchdog and then we got lore of tukomi and that is a sick one i love the look of that that looks really nice next one and here we go we got our prototype guy no repeat double on that one for the front card and then we got judgmental recovery normal great wall normal and we got phantom of the water immune immune moon beautiful far full art oh my gosh i can't talk full art of this card is amazing looking and that full art is not amazing looking vip seats uh yeah nothing crazy here next up we will get into it no god pack in this one that's okay though let's keep going we've got justice engineer eternal gearsification crazy looking card darkness moon fragment and then we've got Justice Missile Pod. We've been seeing a lot of the Justice cards. So is it an omen that we will get the Justice J Ruler? I certainly hope so. No super crazy banger cards yet. So we're pretty, we're going down deep into the box. Uh, not halfway or anything deep, but we're waiting on some kind of a good pull. Let's see what we can get here. We've got just Sacred Knight, super rare. And then we've got the Misty Island of Mumu Tribe, the normal. Mimu Tribe Island, nothing to worry about too much, you know. We got Phantasmal, Mad Hatter, Facilities, Purging, Adventurous, the Three Wisemen, Super Rare. And then we've got Phantasmal, Mad Hatter, pretty sick looking, but just a normal. All right. Yikes, that glue. Holy crap. Dang, man. You ever get those packs? Those crazy glued packs? Insane. All right, Satellite, Knight of the Phantom Moon. We got Sprinting Steward as our rare. And then we've got, okay, we got Mikey Jack of all trades. Sick looking card with that foiling, actually. That's not bad. I like that look a lot. Mikey, 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 the Jack of all trades. Let's see if we can do a little bit better than the Mikey here. We've got Gearsification, Knight, and we've got Satellite Crystal. Pretty sick card, just a rare. We got Death Glare, though. Hmm, I wonder if that's going to be anything. We'll see. Maybe, potentially. Nice full art rare on that one. Next up, let's see it. We've got Phantasmal, the Inquisitor. Cool card, that Inquisitor guy. Misty Isle. I really need a full art of her. It's not worth anything crazy, like four bucks, five bucks, but it's such nice artwork, honestly. Hero Reincarnation, super rare. And Angelic Battle Barrier, normal. That's pretty good though. I like that look. Any type of explosion on the cards with the foiling in Force of Will looks super epic. Like they just really come alive on those cards. So we got a rare, we got Heretic of Solari, and we've got, ah, there's our sealed one-eyed dragon full art. Let's go Marvel rare. This is a banger. It definitely seems like it's getting play because, you know, the will cost, man, that actually looking at it now too, that's actually crazy cost for a 700 700 with i'm assuming i haven't read the card yet some insane stuff but yeah it's like a i believe it's like a 30 dollar card expect it to come down a little but i think it'll hold strong at like 20 bucks for quite a while and that's my third copy of it so an almost full play set of those one eyes of the full arts which is insane uh, i'm not complaining though you know i'm gonna put in the nice collection mikey is our super rare which we already got the full art and we got attack trooper of eins Normal, normal, normal. Let's see the next pack though, because I have a good feeling about this one. Although we just started with the Mimi tribe, but I'm holding out hope for the end of the pack here. We've got Angelic Battle. Our rare is the Water Moon Fragment. No full arts in this box of these guys yet, which is interesting. Again, it's like the themed box idea. 
that once you get one of these, you're stuck getting like a ton of them. So behind it though, all right, we got a nice super rare 12 Sacred Knights, Raymond, the member of the 12 Sacred Knights. Dope looking card in the full art, but I don't think he's super highly valued, maybe a little bit, but nothing crazy. It'll be interesting to see where prices are when I actually edit the video because I looked yesterday and it still seemed like prices were all over the place and there's not a lot of people like putting stuff up on uh oh we got our first j ruler let's go it's our hulkish red man himself berserker that looks sick all right he he looks honestly i wasn't super impressed with him when i saw the spoiler uh but honestly the card in person looks really really good i really actually am digging it quite a bit now that I'm seeing it in my hands, that looks amazing. All right, so we'll flip this card around in a second. Let's just look at our little basic rulers. We got Viga, Steadfast Steward, and we got Child of the Water Moon. All right, these double R cards with the awesome glowing red backs, phenomenal. And then we will take a look at the backside of this guy, Extract of the Fire Moon into the big boy berserker let's go not bad first j ruler is out of the way but what will the second j ruler be and can we hit the god pack i still really want justice man if i hit justice man who would i be missing i would have hit a lot of the j rulers in two boxes which is insane fire moon fragment again on full art and, oh yes there <laughs> well there it is right there there's our water moon fragment full art Good $10 card here right now. Expect it to drop a little bit, I'm sure. I think it'll probably hold around a $7 or $8 card for a bit until it goes out of the meta, but pretty sick. I do like the foiling on these. I jiggled my camera a little bit, and then it said uh, I was recording through the microphone, which makes me think, was I not recording through the microphone this whole time? Uh-oh, I don't know what happened there. I guess we'll see if the audio switches. Hopefully nothing happened, but we got Charge of the Fairy Tale King as our rare, and we've got Sacred Burial as a normal. Let's keep moving through the system here. How has the luck been with your boxes? Leave a comment down below. Let me know the best box and the best pulls you've gotten so far. I want to hear about the Secret Rare pulls. Come on, tell me about them. We've got Outer Space. We've got the King's Dragon, which reminds me a lot of like a classic Magic the Gathering card, but I'm not the biggest fan. And then we, hey, look at who we got. That is awesome. We finally got it. Engineer of Eternal Full Art. Just take a look at that. Such a cool looking card in the hollow. So beautiful. So well done. This artist, oh, chef's kiss. Love it. All right, we're heading into the Lucky Left Side stack here. So let's see what kind of goodies are chilling over here on the lucky left let's see it we got magic stone dude our little squirrel our shark our whatever that is marvel rare judgment of solari very nice very nice marvel rares are always a good good hit to get for sure i don't think i've gotten this in a full art yet did i i might have in my god pack i actually can't remember sweet card though sweet i love the artwork and we got a normal outer space nothing too crazy there it is a beautiful view, but you know, it's an outer space card, nothing too crazy. Next up, come on, holding out hope for that good, good God pack. Let's see it. Mimi Tribe stuff. We got all sorts of other things. Painful blow. Rare is Justice Hurricane and Death Speaker Monk. Sick card, actually. It's kind of one of those cards that's hard to like see what's going on because everything kind of like the characters fading into the background with the color choices they did. It almost needs to be like a little bit different color choice to have it pop out of the card a little bit more. But when you study it and when you actually look at it and can piece, you know, the character from the background apart, it is actually a really well done piece of artwork. I do like the look of the character. I just wish the color choicing would have been a little bit different. I think it could have helped this one really pop quite a bit. Enough of the art critique. Okay, let's keep going and not worry about it because we have beer fish to fry here like finding another secret rare let's do it we've got this dude i don't think he's worth anything fighting arena boss man and dragon of solari normal pretty sweet card just a normal though nothing too shiny over here next up lucky left let's go come on show us the goodness let's see it all right all right all right come on 
We've got Painfully Brutal. We've got a Fire Moon Fragment. You might have already seen. It's a super rare a Asteroid Cluster Typhoon in a nice full art. Next one. Let's keep going. We are... Oh, oh, okay. Well, just dropped a couple cards. I've been doing that this whole video. Rare Fairy Tale King again with... Okay. Wind Moon Fragment Full Art. Very nice. So we got the water and now we got the wind. And all right, that's two for two. This is how the box before it went. We got all of our Water Moon and Wind Moon, all our Moon Fragment Full Arts. And then we hit the God Pack. So, fingers crossed, we keep up the trend. Those Moon Fragment cards, though, they, considering how many I've pulled so far, it does seem pretty like common of a card. It's crazy. You would think those would be harder to get maybe, but I guess not. All right. We got our super rare Joanne Light Punisher of the Solaris Order. Love it. Love it. We got a full art of her last time. Let's see what's behind it. We've got Mikey's Enormous Task. What an enormous task you have to give us here, Mikey. Uh, just normal though. I like your other card better. Mikey, Mikey. Mikey making his second appearance. And look, there it is again. Look at that. How are we doing that so much this episode? These full art into normal on the top of the pack. So crazy. Rare. First regrets. First regrets. And then we got Justice Punch. Man, I saw that green. I got excited. But it is a super rare. Who knows? Maybe this is a decent card. Uh, but Justice Punch. I mean, it looks sick. Justice is a dope looking character. All right, we're mixing up all the packs here a little bit, but this is the rest of them that we have in the box. So let's get to getting and finish this thing up. Hopefully strong. You know, we got a few more, six or something like that. I don't know. Let's keep going though. We got Pillar, we got the Squirrel, we've got Death Glare again, and we've got this dude in a full art, which I don't think, yeah, he's nothing special, nothing crazy. All right, got back, come on. Whew. Oh man, bummer. Not in this one. Let's keep going. The search will continue. Leave a comment down below if you want me to continue. Wait a second. Oh, 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 whoa. How did I never see this guy? We got our second J ruler. Let's go. Leviathan Chrono Gear. Man, I do not remember seeing him in the spoilers. Look at that sheen of hollow red. It's kind of flashing on him a little bit. The hollow on this isn't the best, though. I'll say that. Uh, that's my blue light over here. I can block that. That's not the foiling. The foiling is very minimal on this one, unfortunately. So we got Einzo as the basic ruler. Pretty sick. He's like an Ultron character, which is pretty unique uh, in the not unique way, I guess. And then we got Child of the Fire Moon. Again, our little basic rulers. I love flipping these over and taking a look at that red because it just looks so sweet. Those are our basic rulers. And then we got our Chrono Gear guy. We got the Flight of the Demon Sword. And then he transforms into Chrono Gear. Our second J ruler. And one I was not expecting because I kind of forgot he was even in the set. Is anybody playing with him? Let me know. All right, though. We still got a few more packs, you know. You never know what we might find in this thing. We got super lucky last time. And, man. Just imagine, just imagine if we could get super lucky again. Let's see what we got here. We got Light Moon Fragment, Rare, and we've got, all right, there's our Fire Moon Fragment. All right, that's three of them, three already, which is pretty sick. Well, I guess we'll have to see if we get that fourth one coming up. I'm gonna have like a full play set of the One-Eyed Dragon and like two full play sets of all these Moon Fragments. It's gonna be ridiculous. All right, let's see it though. We've got Rain, we've got Underground, we've got Attack Trooper Man. We got a Marvel Rare Servant of Falcone, or Fashona. I don't even know. It's a Mimi Tribe girl. And out of Marvel Rare goes, I think this is only like a $5 card. Behind it, we got Gearsfication as our normal. It's got the atmospheric tone to it, and the hollow on that light beam or whatever tube she's in is pretty cool, but just a normal. Next up, we've only got three more packs. One, two, three, four. We've got... A squirrel to show us more. Shark and what is this? Justice Missile Pod with the King's Dragon in a full art. Nothing that I'm very excited about. I mean, we can appreciate it. It is a very elegant looking artwork, but it just doesn't do it for me, you know? I like the other stuff better. Two packs left. Now, which one will have that secret rare? I don't know. Let's save it for the last pack, which will be that one. So let's see what this one does for us. All right, see, no God Pack here. It must be in that last pack. So let's find out what we got hiding in this one, though. We got the little robot, the moon researcher, Death Speaker Monk, and 
Grisha, the Heretic of Solari. Okay, okay. A nice little rare character rare, which I do like, but he's nothing too unique as far as his design goes. So it's okay for me. And the last pack. Can we get an incredible last pack, God pack? I'm closing my eyes. I'm not going to look. I know you can't see my eyes, but I feel the glue and I can't tell what we got. So I'm going to try to slip this out and then reveal. Could be a build up for nothing. Okay, it's kind of a build up for nothing. It's not a god pack, but you know, you have to trust me. I had my eyes closed. Let's see what our last pull is, though. What will we find? Justice Recon Drone. We got Sacred Tree as our super rare. Permita of the Dead. And our last one. Ba bang. Ooh. It's just a normal, but it's actually one I really wanted to get. Perfect coordination. A stellar looking card with this back-to-back -back duo here, both of which I have the full arts for now. And this is an awesome looking card. I hope to see some play. And uh, cause it's it's just a baller looking card. It looks awesome. I love this card. Oh no, my cards. So yeah, it wasn't the craziest of boxes, but we did get some really nice pulls still. And these would be some of my favorites that we got. Again, perfect coordination, which we just saw. Last card that we pulled. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad we got her. Engineer of Eternal. Super awesome. And I definitely wanted to add it to my collection. So very happy with the full art on her. Another favorite, Fire Punisher of the Solaris Orios, Cecilia. And she should be valued a little bit, I would think. She is awesome looking. And then we've got our Sealed One-Eyed Dragon. Now, oh, there we go. Come on, focus up. This card, while not my entire favorite card or anything like that, is definitely valued very highly. So... It gets points for that. We're getting into the price over favoritism type area here. And another one that would be uh, price over favoritism, probably the Chrono Gear. Man, I don't even remember seeing him on TCG Player. It's crazy. I don't know what he's worth at all. I'm hoping at least like 25, 20. Uh, I'm hoping. I know Berserker, our last one here, should be at least a 30, 35 or here. Uh, I know like a couple of these guys in Justice are all up there in the prices. So I'm hoping he's a decent one that people are playing with. And again, J Rulers, it's always a safe bet. They're at least 25 bucks at the minimum until like two months from now. And then they drop below 20. Well, hey, everybody. Did you enjoy that New World Emerges Force of Will video? I hope you did. So make sure to leave a like and share the video around. Little secret, I'm not actually recording this after I did the opening. So I have no clue what we got and how good we did or how I maintain guessing prices since I think I'm going to be trying to do some prices in this video. Did I do terrible as usual with guessing prices? It's always fun to see how wrong I get sometimes. Did we pull a secret rare? I sure hope so. Did I find Justice, my one last J-Ruler? You guys are going to have to let me know. I don't know. I haven't filmed yet. And of course, there's an emergency siren going on right now because it's the first Saturday of the month. So that's cool. I hope that's not in the recording. So I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Again, thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more Force of Will content along with all the other stuff that I am doing on this channel. And we will see you guys in the next video.